Hey everybody, and welcome back to another Wheel of Time video. In today's video, we are going to examine one of my favorite subjects in the Wheel of Time. We'll be doing a deep dive into the Age of Legends. This will be a two-part video, and the second part should come out tomorrow, hopefully. I want to give a real quick thank you over to the folks at audible.com. They are a major supporter of what we do here at the channel. If you haven't yet taken advantage of the free audiobook they're offering my viewers, make sure you check this out. You get a free audiobook just for signing up for the trial. You're under no obligation to pay anything or keep the service, and you get to keep the book no matter what. And you're really helping out the channel just by signing up. All you have to do is go to www.audibletrial.com forward slash nameless and sign up for the trial. I have all of the Wheel of Time books as well as some other books from business and, and pleasure breeding. I really love the service. I highly, highly recommend it. So before we get into the video, let's go ahead and throw up a spoiler warning. Today's video will carry a spoiler rating of yellow, meaning I will be talking very generally about the very far past in the novels and not any of the direct events in the novels themselves. There are going to be no plot spoilers at all but I will be talking about some background information from the books. I don't think anything's going to be spoiled, but if you prefer to know nothing at all, feel free to watch the video later. So this video is going to run similar to my normal cultural examination videos, but with some differences as there are some different criteria for a culture set in the distant past. We will be analyzing the Age of Legends based on the following sections. Technology, demographics and social structures, economy, governmental structure and law, notable landmarks, military forces, and then at the end, I'm going to give you an analysis of the age as a whole. In tomorrow's video, we'll be doing a breakdown of the timeline of events from the Age of Legends all the way through the breaking of the world. So let's go ahead and kick this off with some basic information about the Age of Legends. The Age of Legends is the term that refers to the second age of the seven ages of the Wheel of Time. The events of the novels take place at the very end of the third age, so the events and period of time for the Age of Legends occurred many thousands of years prior to the events of the main story. Although we're unsure about how long the second age actually lasted, it can be assumed that it was thousands of years. The reason that it is referred to as the Age of Legends is that the feats and technology of the age are considered to be far beyond the current age, so it's pretty legendary. So let's take a look at that legendary culture, starting with the technology. So the technology from the Age of Legends is really a cross between the technology of our time with that of a culture where magic is also a part of it. Society and technology were so advanced that there was no hunger, poverty, pollution, and for the most part, life was a paradise. The technology of the time was enhanced by the use of the One Power, but it was not confined to its use. The denizens of the Age of Legends had vast knowledge about genetics, electricity, energy generation, and transportation technologies. Advanced knowledge of genetics enabled scientists to create constructs that aided society. For example, the Nim were created to grow food and were essentially biological creations that were sentient. The Chora trees were another example of a genetic construct. They were said to give off an aura of healing and peace to those that sat underneath their branches. One of the most complex and divisive issues of our time is energy generation and transmission. And that was an issue that was solved in the time of the Age of Legends. Energy was generated through the use of the One Power and other means and it was basically unlimited. So there were no wars and conflicts over sources of energy or renewable renewable sources as there are today. There were also many different transportation options during the Age of Legends. Anti-gravity technology was widely used for short-range transport. Joe cars, jumpers, and hoverflies were short-range transports similar to cars and helicopters today. Show wings were the Age of Legends equivalent of airplanes, and they were used for transporting large masses of people at once over distance, although there were some show wings that were used for individual use. The One Power was also widely used for traveling as it could be instantaneous if you were near an Aes Sedai. Communication was also easy through the use of technology in the Age of Legends. They had holographic technology that allowed real-time communications around the world face-to-face. -to -face. all were also available for instantaneous communication over distance, sort of like phones. Crop yields were tightly controlled through the use of genetic technology and the NIM constructs, Ogier Gardeners, and Tarangrial that perfectly controlled weather around the globe. There were no natural disasters from weather as it was very precisely controlled by the Aes Sedai through the use of Tarangrial. The crops were strictly controlled as well and engineered to be impervious to disease and blight as well as insects, and they were engineered to provide the maximum nutritional content. There were other various technologies that were available, such as a stasis box. A stasis box would preserve whatever was stored within it, so basically time wouldn't touch it. Glow bulbs provided light without needing recharging or replacement, 
and heat exchangers existed that maintained a constant temperature in a room regardless of the climate. Objects that amplified or used the one power were created and used in abundance. Terangriol, Angriol, and Sa Angriol were produced and used in abundance to increase the quality of life for everybody. Society during the Age of Legends was very different than that of the Third Age. Hunger and poverty, the idea of material wealth, all of that was essentially non-existent. Society was based around honoring those that could serve the community and the world the best. Honor was given by earning a third name and making large contributions to society, whether in research, public service, or leadership. The most famous people in the Age of Legends had a third name. Daily life for those alive during the Age of Legends was very different from the Third Age and our time. Three-dimensional imaging and holograms, along with view walls displaying images and pictures, were used for entertainment. You could contact anyone in the world from your home as well. Significant time was invested into the arts and creating works of art. Famous musicians, painters, and architects were given high praise and honor within society. Also, for entertainment, many competed in the ancient art of fencing or swordplay. They would master the art of using the sword in nonviolent combat, and this was considered an extremely entertaining pastime. The people of the Age of Legends wore natural fibers, but there were a few materials that were created through the use of the One Power that were popular in high fashion garments. Garments. Fan cloth is a material created with the One Power that had a camouflage effect, effectively making the wearer blend in to his or her surroundings. The creation of this cloth actually survived the breaking of the world and was used by warders for their cloaks. There were a few groups within society that were considered super important. First of all, the Aes Sedai were an extremely powerful force within society at the time of the Age of Legends. The Aes Sedai, or servants of all, were the users of the One Power that used the power to serve society. Aes Sedai were very rare, representing only about 1-3% to of the population, but Aes Sedai in the Age of Legends could be both men and women and were often found at a very young age. Everyone went to test to see if they could become an Aes Sedai as it was considered a great honor. Aes Sedai were governed by the Hall of the Servants, which is a guild that oversaw the channelers and set the rules and laws that governed over them. Other than those in leadership positions, Aes Sedai could work various jobs, and some of those jobs had very little to do with the One Power. Certain jobs, however, were dominated by Aes Sedai. For instance, Aes Sedai restorers were the healers and doctors of the day, and nothing other than death or severing from the One Power could be healed. No amount of herbs or traditional medicine could compete with what Aes Sedai healers could do. Because of this, the average life expectancy for the general population was between 150 and 200 years old. For Aes Sedai, this was much higher based on their use of the One Power, with some living to be almost 800 years old. The Hall of the Servants elected a first among equals that sat on the high seat and ruled the Aes Sedai. Aes Sedai, however, were not leaders of government of the world and were subject to it. Many of them were in influential positions, but were not by default in charge of governing the world. Another group of people within the Age of Legends were the Daishin Aiel. The Aiel were a group of people bound by a covenant to serve the Aes Sedai. They upheld the Way of the Leaf, a pacifistic code which prohibited violence of any kind. Each Aiel was sworn to serve a particular Aes Sedai, and some prominent Aes Sedai were served by more than one Aiel. Because of their service, the Daishin Aiel were very well respected in society. They mostly had short hair with a ponytail at the back, and they wore very plain clothing in shades of brown and gray. In regards to population and cities, the world population in the Age of Legends isn't really known, but it can be assumed it was far, far higher than the current world population. It is likely with how well-developed culture was and the quality of healthcare that the population during the Age of Legends was likely in the tens of billions. Some of the largest and most important cities of the time were Visayn, the site of the Kolom Don, center of higher learning, Majin, which was the second largest city in the Age of Legends, and Paran Deesan, which was the largest and most important city in the entire world. It was the seat of the government for the world and the place where the Hall of Servants sat, which was said to be an enormous building that was spectacularly beautiful. The city was lined with chora trees and had skyscrapers throughout that glittered like jewels. <laughs> The economy of the Age of Legends was very stable and rewarded those who gave the greatest service to society. Individuals were rewarded financially by how their work contributed to society as a whole. However, there was no poverty and everyone earned a comfortable living regardless of their job. Most material things were quite plentiful and cheap to produce, so basic needs were provided for all. So basic needs were provided for all. People worked in the arts, research, academia, mining, government, and the same types of jobs that exist today 
but the population was able to focus on expertise at their craft as their material needs were already provided for. Although many Aes Sedai had important positions and were very honored, they were also very few. So most of the jobs were taken by non-channelers and they could earn respect for their contributions to society as well, able to earn third names regardless of whether they could channel or not. The government during the Age of Legends was based around democratic principles for the most part. There was a worldwide parliament based in Paran Deesan that was made entirely of elected officials that passed laws and governed society. Aes Sedai were often elected to this council, but were not always there and were not always put in charge just simply because they were Aes Sedai. Crime was all but non-existent during the Age of Legends as most people had their needs provided for, but crime was not completely unheard of. People that were caught committing violent or unlawful acts were often restrained or prevented from committing the act again, whether through rehabilitation or through binding. Aes Sedai had a separate governing body in the Hall of Servants that oversaw the rules pertaining to channeling. They were ruled by a Tamerlan or an Amerlin and the Hall of the Servants themselves. When someone was caught doing something against the law at channeling, they were often prevented from repeating their unlawful acts through the use of a Tirangriol called a binder that would make the accused swear an oath that would prevent them from doing whatever it is they were caught doing again. The only downside to this is that it lessened the lifespan of an Aes Sedai by almost half. Not many landmarks from the Age of Legends are known, but there are a few worth mentioning. The Kolum Don was a center of higher learning and research center for the great city of Assain. It was most known for the giant sphere floating above the university called the Sharon. It is a massive white sphere that floats hundreds of feet above the university and dominated the skyline. The Anseline Gardens was a frequent destination of those looking to relax. It's essentially a very large and very beautiful restaurant casino that had incredible art and incredible views on display. The finest food and drink were served at the gardens and people from all over the world with the means to get there would visit. The Hall of the Servants was a massive building that housed the leadership of the Aes Sedai during the Age of Legends. It had massive columned entrances and large ornate doorways with polished floors of glowing white L-stone. It was said to be an incredible sight and produced awe from those who saw it for the first time. There were really no military forces of any kind during the Age of Legends. Wars were not fought and countries didn't exist. The entire world was at peace and warfare was just something from history. There were barely even police forces, let alone standing militaries. When the War of Power broke out and Shadowspawn came about, warfare and armies were needed. New weapons were created using technology such as a shock lance. A shock lance was a ranged weapon that fired energy blasts that could kill an unarmored target with one shot and they were super precise. Think of blasters from Star Wars. Vast armies were put together at this point and many citizens served in the armies that were led or supported by Aes Sedai. The Age of Legends was a super important time in the history of the Wheel of Time world. The remnants of that world are where the main story of the books take place. It was important for Robert Jordan when making the novels that he show how the history and knowledge could be lost over time. And the idea that history is a giant game of telephone with something being lost or changed with each telling. There are many things from the Age of Legends that affect the main events of the novels, items, stories, and more importantly some people. But we will leave a lot of that for the second video in the series. The next video I release will be going through the timeline of the Age of Legends and the events that led to the breaking of the world and what actually happened during the breaking. Make sure to check that video out as well as some of my others. But I would love to hear what you all think about the Age of Legends in the comments below. Is there anything I left out? And if you did like the video, please go ahead and give it a like and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Make sure you do that so you can get updated when I release new content. Also, I wanted to give a huge thank you to everyone over on my Patreon and those of you in my Discord server that helped give me ideas and let me bounce ideas off of you. You all are awesome. Because she's earned it, I wanted to give a huge shout out to MK Sadai for shouting me out on Twitter and being cool in the Discord. If you want to be a part of my little community, please check out my Patreon page and see some of my Patreon-only content and get yourself into my Discord server so we can chat real time. The link is in the description below. But hey all, until next time, peace out. Think you're in the kitchen with a job of work to do My mistress up above, slipping on a rope of blue She prances down the staircase, a fancy oh so free Crying, Tinker, oh dear Tinker, won't you mend a pot for me?